Jim and I, Jim and I, how you doing little Jims? Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm hearing though for a lot of you, uh, I've got my eye on someone, I just don't know if they've got their eye on me or not. So it's kind of like for a lot of you, um, or I am, you're right I am, but it's like uh, for a lot of you, it's kind of like you're very curious, you've got your eye on somebody, but you don't know if they're interested in you or not, or if they have their eye on you. Because it, it, it's a very difficult message for me to come through, to get through to, because it's, I don't know if there's a block energy here of like, well, I'm blocking someone out and I, I don't know if they have their eye on me or not. Uh, so you really could be dealing with a, a Pisces, which would be a frayed knot, and I'm also picking up a Scorpio energy or maybe Taurus, okay? But I'm picking up like, I don't know if they have their eye on me and if they're watching me or if they think that I'm watching them or not. Kind of like, um, how can I, well, it's pretty much plain and simple there. It's kind of like that you've got curiosity. I mean, if you haven't, this other person has. And it feels like that there's no communication and it's kind of like, man, I don't know if I'm wasting my time or not. Like, I don't know if they're going to show me any signs of being interested, if they're actually going to open the lines of communication or not. Some of you really could be dealing with, like, an eight, which would be, like, an Aquarian or a Leo, okay? Um, but I definitely keep picking up, like, I don't know if they have their eye on me or not, if they're going to open up or not, or if someone's over their ex. I keep picking up here that somebody is still, st still, like, uh, Lionel Richie, or Lionel, or Laura, or L Lassie, Lassie, or, S or Sassy, but, like, um, like someone still has their eye on their ex, like, I'm still watching you, like, somebody here is still watching their ex, okay, and they're still watching, so, if anybody's been blocked, or anything like that, this person's still watching, is what they're saying, that, no, I'm still watching, you don't know, I'm just still watching you, though, so, it's kind of like someone's tried to cover up the fact that, they're not watching, but they are watching. What on earth is this going on about the Watchmen? Someone said this in the comment, watch the Watchmen. I have seen that, it's about Invisible Ink or something, right? Someone said in the comments, watch Watchmen. Okay, um, but like I'm picking up that someone's very transparent, like they're in the background there, uh, or like, um, so I'm picking up Danny Glover, Dan Danielle, Dan, uh, Dan Du, uh, anybody beginning with D, um, or Gibson, Gib, Ronald Gib, Gibson, Gibson, Gibson. Anyway, or like your son, like your son is watching or something. Like uh, so, that would be Leo. So there's a Leo somewhere here in the background that is still watching from the past. Is still watching. Like it's kind of like someone's blocked, and they've. Somebody here has took some... <laughs> has people been listening to my actual... Because my spirit is saying, somebody here has been listening to the tarot stuff that, uh, that I've been doing, maybe, and someone's blocked someone off, like, a Facebook thing, or took them off, or, like, Steve, or took me off, I don't know, but, like, took Steve off, and, like, um, or took someone off Facebook, and they've took them off Facebook, but they're still watching their YouTube, <laughs> or they're still watching something. Like, they keep saying... What is this around people's channel and multimedia that I keep picking up signals for? Like, oh yeah, sorry, also, Jim and I, you're right. To the person that keeps sending me messages, I'm not going to call your name out, but keep sending me email asking for free, a free reading, and then in advance for you telling me what's going on with the situation. I, I'm sorry, but I'm really not bothered. <laughs> like, I'm not. Like, that's your, that's your situation. Like, you know, I don't need translation of my own readings to give someone a free reading. So please stop bombarding me with emails there because you actually come up as a, <laughs> do you want me to be honest? But actually came up there as my computer was going wooga a wooga and telling me loads of yellow things, do not reply back to this email. So you've pretty much been took off. Please stop, keep trying to let me know what's going on with your scenario for a re free reading because I'm not really first, okay? So anyway, so back to your story, Gemini. Um, yeah, there seems to be something here that somebody's took someone off something, but they're still watching. Like, they're still watching. Like, I've took you off, and you're no longer on here, but I am on, on here because I am in the background. I mean, is this Melissa Dawn still? <laughs> but someone like that, that is trying to cover up the fact that they're not watching because they've took someone off something, whatever that is. So it has to be things like YouTube or... Facebook or Twitter or fuck, I don't know, and you're like, like acts so weird. <laughs> but like, uh, I took you off and I'm not watching, but I am actually watching. Or someone's really, 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 really trying to get someone's attention by them watching them, but not making any 
any advances. Like it's I don't know why it's I'm picking it up and I'm going to have to be blatantly honest. It's someone here that loves to be watched, that loves to be watched and seen in the public eye. So I have to take myself out of it because I'm on here. <laughs> but like I love to be seen in the public eye. And I'm like calling in all of these people, but I'm denying all of these people. That's why you've got to be dealing with a Scorpio or someone that has Scorpio in their chart somewhere, <laughs> which I have in mind. But I ain't doing anything weird like that. But it's kind of like I'm, I'm getting people to watch me. So like I said, it doesn't have to be you. It can be someone that you, you know of, right? Or they know of. But the message here is, is like I'm watching someone and I'm not watching someone. Like I'm watching them, but I'm coming to the conclusion that they're really not interested. They're interested in multiple people watching them, right? Like they've got someone that's watching and watching and watching, but they're not making any advances on anybody. Like, is why I'm picking it up like it's on a Scorpio, because it has to be someone that is emotionally and physically blocked, that's that's picking up a lot of like, attraction through their attraction through their i don't know attractiveness or something i don't know or like like i don't know someone has a flair of something oh i can't work out what this is is something very fucking weird going on well i mean like i said to the person please don't contact me saying that i'll let you know what's going on i don't i don't mind <laughs> right i don't mind what's going on it's you know i'm just trying i'm just giving you the messages as long as it doesn't involve my life, I don't really give a fuck, <laughs> right? <laughs> Definitely not for free readings. Man, what is that? Do you think I've got time to do people free readings in advance for, like, someone telling me their story? I, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind. Um, unless you're someone I actually know and you've got uh, stuff on me, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with some people like I don't sorry but it makes me feel very weird when I read things like that and I'm like what the fuck goes through people's heads really what does go through people's heads so what is your main message about here it's about somebody watching someone and coming to the conclusion that this person loves to be watched by multiple people but they don't commit to a person so say if you're a Gemini in any part of your chart whatsoever and there's a message here for you that lands on you of some kind of like, man, I have got my eye on this person, but they really don't seem to be showing me any kind of reciprocation of being interested in me. But you're looking at them as if to think, man, they're getting attention from a lot of people. Then they are. They're getting attention from a lot of people. OK, so they're kind of like emotionally blocked. Then they don't want a commitment. They don't want a commitment because they are the one. They want a commitment of a specific person of reason of why they're doing this. Uh, because it, it's coming across as a prick tease, if I'm being honest, someone that's teasing people to please people. Like, I'm trying to please everyone, but really what I'm fucking really doing is actually teasing people. Like, I'm I'm not serious about anybody in my life. I just want to, man, what is this around someone just loves to be watched and will not, like, loves to be watched by multiple, multiple people. I mean, I don't know. Don't forget, though, you can watch this as Gemini, Capricorn or a life path six or life path life path add them together if that comes to a six you can see this reading right because you'll probably pick up the same messages so there is something here around six 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 around like Capricorn Gemini Capricorn Gemini Capricorn Gemini six 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 so that would no not witchcraft for you lot that are fucking still brainwashed by witchcraft you're watching the wrong tarot card readings of people that tell you about witchcraft you're believing in it you're feeding dark energy. It's up to you. I'll let you drown. <laughs> Sorry, if that's what you want to believe in, I won't help you out of that. You're just you're just lost your mind. Okay, so I'm picking up uh, 10, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, which is a 9. Something around Virgo. Virgo, okay. Funnily enough, popular belief, I've picked up, as you may have seen in my actual, on my channel, across on the discussion page, that I picked up on 0909 on the 9th of August. And then someone said, oh, your battery power is uh, 72, 789, right? Uh, so that one. And then I picked up on 1010. Uh, and then I picked up on 1111. And I've kind of got them on my phone. All in one day, every hour, I've had 99, 1010, 1111. Um, so there's something 
because it feels like this something like <laughs> like a feeling and a connection but not one like someone that's denying a connection well you always deny connection from the past but i pick up that there's a lot of denial going on like there's a lot of like denied energy like no access like i can't gain access i can't get on i can't get in i can't get out yeah i've got to be dealing with like a taurian or a of like a well, it's, it's a Virgo. It's it's like someone just can't get on the same page, and someone can't get over their ex. If there's someone here, they can't get over their ex. They just will not get over their ex, and because they can't, that's where the X Men is coming from. So I'm picking up on Wolverine, okay, or Orine or Irene or Iris, um, um, but I keep picking up like I just can't get over it. Like I can't get over it. Like I'm not finished yet. I can't get over it. Or, um, well, I'm also picking up Marshall or Mavis because I'm picking up on Marvel. So anybody beginning with M, <laughs> there you go, there's all the M's again. Uh, but like, or E, or Emily, or Emma, or E, M, M. In the chat when you're saying about Twin Flame stuff, <laughs> when you guys are on Twin Flame journeys, when was the last time you actually spoke to, Twin Flames are about spiritual connections. If you're in hope, you're in false hope. Because if someone's sticking their bingo dobber in another person and you just have like, well, I can feel them all over me. If you're feeling that, you're just waking up. But my job is to guarantee you, the name Gary Ortina, is, is that they don't float back into your life because at that time you're not supposed to want all of that. Like you're not supposed to be letting someone just energetically enter your field and then leave, <laughs> right? Because you're being violated by a spirit right so you know if you've been going through this twin flame bit for quite some time you can start to get into this illusion that one day in my life this is going to happen but it ends up not okay so i just need to make sure that when people are saying you know about their twin flames and you're watching a load of bollocks about like oh no they have to go off and learn by another soulmate first and then cheat and lie and just leave me stranded with nothing. And then eventually after so many years, they're going to come back and we're eventually going to be together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, you have to realize, you know, you have to realize. So there's that. Uh, what else have you got? I don't know. Like a lot of this psychic spying or like somebody still hooked on their ex hook captain hook capricorn or gemini still hooked on it hook line and sinker that came out for another reading i can't remember which one it was i think it was yesterday it's yesterday once more should be do and play yeah um it's yesterday yesterday all my troubles seem so far away now it looks as though they're here to stay. <coughs> Whoa. I'm in a real trouble speaking. What is that? <coughs> Something on the throat. A frog? Frog. Frog on the throat. Frog on the tine is all mine, all mine. Someone is from like, um, uh, as a scouser or something like, frog on the tine is all mine, all mine. Frog on the tine. Fog might even be someone from London, because I'll pick up Willie. So William or Willie Fog. Okay, and then also um, Fog on the Time was Gaza, Gascoigne, football player. Um, so I think he was uh, a scouser. Okay, Fog on the Time, I'm sure it was Gascoigne. Paul, so Paul Gascoigne or Paul. Life's a gas, also something to do around Tatiana or, T or Tara. Okay, or anybody beginning with T. Rex, T Rex. Uh, anyway, any direct messages? No. It's kind of like I'm waiting for a message and, a, and an anticipation of knowing that some kind of contract's supposed to be here, but somebody keeps denying it, like they keep denying the contract. Now, this is either someone that keeps denying the contract because they're not over their ex, and they keep focusing on the wrong energy of their ex, waiting for some sort of like relief or change of it, and then they keep denying another person that they should be experiencing something with. Okay. 
and they keep denying and denying. I, I really keep picking up a, like a nine energy, life path nine or a Virgo energy somewhere. And they keep denying, denying, down, anybody beginning with D, D, deny, denied. Wayne's world, Wayne, Witten, Mandy Witten, you're not still in denial, are you? <laughs> but like, um, like Wayne's world, foxy, foxy lady, someone is a foxy, is a fox, fox and hound. <laughs> well, I got your fox right here. So someone's like, I don't know, someone, somebody here, like myself, is completely and utterly open and willing for new connections. And I think that the people that you're coming up against, Gemini, if you're like, um, like, you know, I'm willing and I'm ready and everything else, I don't think these people that you may have your eye on or whatnot, I don't think they really are. Like, I think that you're kind of like curious, but not not something around a Pisces something around Pisces and not well let's hope for, hope that your um, your reading shows something different here because don't forget you will also come up as that classic six energy okay anywhere all you look for is the, the, the energy of six. So, let's see. So, Gemini. Summing rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. What's going on with Gemini? Summing rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Woo! See? Opportunity of a lifetime. Somebody is ready here. Somebody is Freddy. Also, I keep hearing Freddy. You are all my children now. Somebody's children. What is this, children of the corn? <laughs> children of the corn. Uh, the green giant? Um, don't know what that's for. Ho, 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 green giant. Um, or someone's giant haystacks. Something to do with hay bales, or the name Hay, or Aaron, or Hay, or Haley. Also, Haley. Haley. Keep hearing Abby or so Abigail or Abby or Haley, H. Somebody that calls someone H. Um, anyway, um, yeah, somebody's really, really willing and waiting. Some of you are mums. If not, this person is a mother here. Okay, uh, willing to share something. As I'm saying, are you willing to share? Of course, <laughs> but like, are you willing to share? And this is, you keep pushing me aside, but I can't break through. There's no talking to you. It's so sad that you're leaving. Sad that you're leaving. And after all that we've been through, I'm in love with you. Oh, do you believe in life after love? Do you believe in life after love? Do you believe in life after love? Somebody's called love here. Someone love. I'm also hearing erasure, which is, I love to hate you. Yeah. I love to hate you, but I love you. <laughs> but there's no love here. She don't live here anymore. Um, anyway, let's see, Gemini, somebody rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node, what's going on with them? Woo, you see, this person is absolutely, 100%, equivocably, ready for a new beginning in life. Okay, whoever that is, okay. So, they're ready here. This person might be a mother, they might have a child. Um, but individually, because I'm doing a you versus them, Individually, this person is 100% ready for a relationship. Now, if you're offering to a person and they're not ready for a relationship, then this is just kind of like one of those missed opportunities here. Because I'm hearing, well, I'm ready for a relationship and I don't know if you are or not. Like, I don't know if you're being serious or not because it's kind of like suspended animation, if you like. So I don't know what that is about suspended animation. Any of you are doing anything of caricature or animation? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, uh, 
Yeah, I keep hearing suspended anime. Oh, someone's got some suspenders. They're nice, what do they look like? So, so I like suspenders. I've got some new suspenders. Some of you are in suspense about someone's suspenders, unless your name's Spencer, okay, or Frank, or Frankie, but like curious about someone doing Ann Summers, unless your name's Polly Ann. You're right, Polly Ann, how's your Ann Summers? All right. <laughs> but like I'm doing Ann Summers. Somebody's got themselves a rubber cock. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Is that my rubber cock? I don't know. Have you got one? Somebody's got a rubber cock. Um, but I'm hearing, you are right, rubbers? Rubber. Rubber. Somebody's also collecting rubbers. Collecting rubbers. Eraser. Erasure or erasers? Unless you're watching Arnold Schwarzenegger's Erasure. Uh, eraser. That was brilliant. Can you all remember that film? Anybody like that? Arnold Schwarzenegger, was it a razor with those great big guns that could see through walls? <coughs> I'm going to have to watch that, actually. Um, but, yeah, I keep hearing suspenses, suspenders. Someone's, like, doing themselves up and they, they wear, like, a thong. <laughs> but, like, uh, yeah, I've got my thong on. Someone has got their thong on. And they've got their thong on with someone that's got their song on. So, unless they've got a sock... <laughs> I've got a sock puppet. It's got to be for the guys there. I've got a sock puppet. Oh, yeah. All right. Hello, sock puppet. <laughs> How are you? Oh, no, they didn't. They're behind you. Oh, no, they're not. They're in the background there. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, all right, Melissa. But they come. They're in the background. Back, back, back. I want you back. Uh, back to you, I want you back. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. I don't know. I keep hearing someone's got their thongs. Someone's got thong. Do you old guys wear a thong? Cool, that must be a fucking weird feeling when that goes straight up your jeer pipe, right? <laughs> How on earth can you all walk around with a thong on that goes right up your bullet hole? <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, I'm comfortable with that there, though. Are you? Oh, jeez, fuck, I won't be. I like just let it all hang out, me. <laughs> um, anyway, <coughs> hang out. Y'all really could be dealing with a Pisces that you do want to hang out with. Because I'm hearing, do you want to hang out? Hannah. Hanoi, Hannah. Or like, do you want to hang out? Hang out. <coughs> hang man. This could be a Piscean. Anyway, let's have a look at the other people <laughs> connected to your Gemini. Let's have a look at the other person that's curious around Gemini. The other person that's curious around Gemini. I was showing the other people about curious. Oh, see, there's a fucking lot of bullseye anyway, <laughs> which could be uh, uh, Jim Bowen. Jim, Jolene Juice, and Justin, Jasmine, Jackie. But um, bullseye. Oh, look at what you could have won. Look, look at what, look at what you could have fucking won here. God, it's like a fucking clapped out scolder. Jesus Christ, look at the size of it. You could have had it, but you didn't, did you? You didn't make a move. Oh, shit. Anyway, come on, bring family over. Come and bring them over and show them what you could have won. Oh, fucking hell. Look, there was a speedboat. There was a fucking car. Ford Fiesta, clapped out, 1976. Huh, that was when I was born. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne, someone could be from Australia. But, like, come on. Come on, bring our family over. We just need to show you in front of everybody on screen here what's going on and what you could have won. But you didn't, but we just want to fucking humiliate you in front of everybody on fucking television. Want to humiliate you? You could have humiliated somebody here that could have been watching, and you humiliated them, and they don't like it. <laughs> well, fucking bad, Felicia. But like, um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on over. Come and have a look, everybody. Look, fuck it. They could have won this. Look, Skoda, fucking Ford Fiesta, 1976. It's fucking, you know, it's brilliant on paper. Look at it. Look at him. Oh, he's great. It's fucking everything. He's had an awakening, he's lost his fucking mind, he's a little bit eccentric, he's a number seven. Y'all could be dealing with a Cancerian for a lot of you. Someone could speak like that as well, from someone from up Yorkshire. Yorkshire, it's a Yorkshire warrior. <laughs> God dear. I definitely keep hearing someone with an accent though, that speaks a little bit like that or something. I don't know, from up north or something. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I definitely keep hearing like, look at the fucking size of that. Look at the size of his nub. Look. <laughs> I don't know, Gemini, what y'all got going on? It's like, well, fuck it, if I can't get anybody, I'll just have an awakening and sit by myself. So I might as well sit by myself and play on myself. 
I told you for a lot of you out there on King Keylock, keep going on about your batteries and your Duracell and everything else and that you got yourself some suspenders and everything else and a rubber cock, there it is. <laughs> I don't need nothing else but my rubber cock. Good on you. Believe it or not, people up north call people cock. They do. You're right there, cock. You're right, Dave, how are you getting on? Yeah, I'm all right, cock. Yeah, good on you, cock. Actually, the men call men love. They do. You're right there, love. How are you getting on, duck? You are right. Yeah, no, I'm crushed it, bro. How are you? Oh, I'm fucking great. Super smashing great and fantastic, love. Thank you. Yeah, they do. When I first moved up north from here, because <laughs> I'm more down south, when I moved up north and I lived there for quite a few years, I was like, you're right, Mush? Are you getting on, bro? Yeah, I'll have an uh, all-day ticket, please, an all-day rider. Right? <laughs> or night rider. Uh, Michael Knight, Michael. But, like, um, yeah, when I had an all-day rider, I said, you're right, bro? Yeah, I'll have an all-day rider, please, for the bus and for whatnot. And be like, that'd be, t that'd be two pound fifty, please, love. And I'd be like, fuck are you calling love, bro? <laughs> you calling love? No, oh, it's all right, dog. It's all right, take a seat. You'll be all right there, love. I'll be ready in a minute, all right? The fucking guy, I'm like, you know, bruv, you're all right. I'm like, <laughs> I soon got the grips of it, and then my accent changed. And then when I come back here, I start speaking like a cockney. To... No, dear man, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Boo, I could be, everybody saying to me, gosh, Steve, I could be so much worse. Trust me. <laughs> but like, uh, anyway, some of you have got the hots for this person. You're just waiting for them, really, I feel. But you are, like, because this is an open wire. This is bird on a wire. This is Mel Gibson and what's his name? I don't know much, but I know I love you. Let me be all there is to know. Was that on Birds on a Wire with Mel Gibson and uh, what's her name? I, it was Aaron Neville that actually sang in that Birds on a Wire. But I don't know if it was, I uh, don't know much. I think it was. Um, but anyway, yeah, someone's kind of like open, ready for a relationship and to speak and to talk. They're open, they're ready, because it feels like this, I know that it's there, and I know that something's approaching, and it's, it's time, and something's ready. It's like a bun in the oven. It's like, well, I know it's ready, and it goes, ding! It's like, well, it's ready. It's ready. <laughs> it's ready. Here's Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine, Jackie. <laughs> but here's Johnny. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, the other person connected with Gemini. Whew, here comes Loopy Lou, Lucy, Louise, um, yeah, Laura. Um, yeah, Whew, what the fuck is going on here? Someone, <laughs> man, I can relate to this whole reading. Somebody has slipped through door number three of Jim Morrison, pretty much broke on the other side, and is just about to have a fucking <laughs> another awakening. Yep, I can feel it in my bones. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Someone's dripping like a fuck fridge right here. I'm telling you, they are. They're ready. They are ready. So, man, if you're not with anybody, someone here is ready for a connection. Like, they're ready for a connection. It's like a soul being prepared for something that you feel is coming up, but you just don't know. You just don't know. It's here, spiritually, but it's not here in the physical. Now, for any of you foolish people that are still going through the same cycle with the ex, it's about time you start moving on, Tyro. Right? It's about time you start moving on. Because you could have a return of something, but I think a lot of you, you're like, man, I'm having an awakening. I'm having an epiphany. I can feel this person's quiver and shake all down my bones if you're just metaphysically per for with this person you're just fucking dripping like Lars here <laughs> so um, yeah oh my god this person makes me drip <laughs> something like a water tap dripping here dripping unless you like lard and dripping I wouldn't advise eating that <laughs> go on, somebody wants to eat someone's apple pie here I'd eat that. Someone would take you out to eat. Put it that way. I would eat all of it. <coughs> what on earth? Someone wants to eat someone. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see. Oh, 
Jeez, there is a, some kind of very dynamically sexual attractive sort of very weird dynamic thing. I, I don't know, is it Stephen? <laughs> is it Stephen King? I don't know. That's what I said, the old cards are coming up here as a six and also a six. So it's a cornucopia of like toxicity of twin flame stuff or like um, what will make it better will make it worse. <laughs> so um, some of you have got a strong addictive energy around you. Okay. Um, because you're six and six, it means that you're on both both opposite ends of the planet. I don't know. Someone on planet Earth and someone's in Mars. <laughs> Or Debbie Meyer, <laughs> Debbie Mars, come back from Mars, come back from, to Earth, Debbie. <laughs> or Ma, or Mer, or Ra, or Ra, 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 Rasputin, Ra, Ra, Raya, Funeral Pyre, Rare. Someone likes to eat their steak rare here, rare. Mmm. If not, you're having a major an awakening here and an epiphany to something. Somebody, though, could still be going through their own toxic stuff. Like, you know, they've still got their ex in their ear here. Because, like I said, somebody here still has a connection with someone. It could be. Now, if you're like, well, I don't really have a connection with my ex, then your exes could possibly have a connection with someone else or yourself. But, um... Yeah. There's also here, Devi, Evie, Evie, Stevie, but also devastation as well, like devastation, something devastating. Because I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this person yet. Anyway, I'm going to stop babbling. If you want to join Cap uh, I need to say Capricorn, well... Gemini or slash Capricorn or any energy of six, right? If y'all want to join, find out the rest of the reading, then you'll have to join the full access bundle there. Okay, you can find all access below, tells you all about it before you join, and then there's a link to join. Monthlies give you the monthly and then the uh, general readings that I do globally for everybody, you get those. If you're on the full access bundle, you get everything, but the full access bundle is only where you will find everything, which is extended energies of weekly stuff that comes out for star signs specific there okay but it does tell you all about it personal reading emails uh, angel radio if you like my music and angel radio okay and music and angel radio y'all probably could be hooking up with someone that likes music here um but uh yeah if you um yeah just follow angel radio man it's a free channel it's also on here on the playlist anyway thanks very much gemini seven signing out